Hello! This is a brief tutorial on how to use the instruments and effects panels here in Studio One as part of our Studio One New Users Guide that we're going to be posting on LibGuides. So, this is a pretty simple process, but I figured it might be nice to show you just how easy it is. The instruments and effects in Studio One work in a drag and drop fashion. One of the great things about the program is pretty much everything's drag and drop, as, as you'll see when I'm going to eventually put a little bit of a project in here for you to check out. First off, so let's take a look at instruments. Go over to these tabs over here. You can also click these if you like. Um, and then you just pick an instrument that you like uh, and drag it into the spot. So for this instance, I'm going to use Vital to synthesize our like quite a lot. And then it's going ahead and, and loading with a, a preset that I had already made before. There you go. Easy as pie. You can always use this uh, piano here to open up the uh, graphical interface for the virtual instrument that you're using. You can also click it again to hide it. As for effects, something to keep in mind with these is you, know, you just drag them onto the track that you want them. Um, but you do need to put them on a track that already exists with some sound on it, right? Or, or will have sound on it. They, they don't do anything on their own. So they will affect a sound that's already there. Let me just go ahead and remove these two things. So for instance, I'm, I'm going to add some reverb and compression onto this track here. Compression simply evens out vocal sounds um, and makes everything easier to hear and, and a little bit more uniform in sound. Um, and since this is a spoken word, I'm just going to use their speech preset. Easy. Um, and then for reverb, this is simply adding kind of reflections, space, you know, to a sound. You just add this. And then I was liking the cathedral setting before. So I just went ahead and chose that from the drop down menu. I'll be making separate videos and, and written guides for each of these effects and in stock instruments that are available within the recording studio. So don't worry too much about the details. I just want to show you how easy it is to just drop them in. Now, I just need to drop in my, my audio. Um, I already have those down here. Great. So this is the audio spoken word. And then this is the MIDI for each of the original instruments I have set up. Great. You see, you can even drag and drop from the browser. Easy as pie. Now all that's left to do, you know, is just double check your settings, make sure everything's right, you know, and you'll do this as you go. Um, and then just press play. Have you ever had a dream? Have you ever had a dream? And as you can see, with the drag and drop interface, it's really easy to get up and go if you already have some music written or just some audio that you want to work with. That's all. If you have any questions, please refer to our, our loop guide. And always feel free to come down to the recording studio. One of us will be more than happy to help you out.